next reduction or n minus 1 into or n minus 2 secant square x dx. So, this is the first function, this is second function secant x to the power of n minus 2 integral secant square x dx minus d by dx of secant x to the power of n minus 2 integral secant square x dx and whole dx. Now, this is tan x secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x minus integral n minus 2 into secant x to the power of n minus 3 derivative of secant x is secant x tan x integral of secant x is also tan x dx. So, let us multiply these two n minus 2 common, we get secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x minus n minus 2 common integral secant x to the power of n minus 2 into secant x that is secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan square x dx. Now, again this tan square x. So, the tan square x we can write secant square x minus 1 using trigonometry. Now, this is equal to secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x and minus n minus 2 integral secant x to the power of n minus 2 into secant square x minus 1 dx. Now, secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x minus n minus 2 into integral this is secant x to the power of n dx minus into minus plus n minus 2 integral secant x to the power of n minus 2 dx. So, this this we have to replace with the i n values. So, now i n is equal to secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x minus of n minus 2 i n this is plus n minus 2 i n minus 2 bring this side i n plus n i n and minus i n is equal to secant x to the power of this will be 2 i n secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. Now, this will be minus i n, i n common n minus 1 into i n is equal to secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x plus n minus 2 i n minus 2. So, now we have to find out i n value. Therefore, i n is equal to secant x to the power of n minus 2 tan x by n minus 1 plus n minus 2 by n minus 1 i n minus 2. This will be the reduction formula. 
Now cases. Let us discuss different cases of the reduction. Note first point. See after successive reduction. So, we get if n is even we get i naught which is integral d x x. If n is odd we get after successful successive reduction this is integral secant x dx this will be log mod secant x plus tan x or log mod tan of pi by 4 plus x by 2. So, next reduction formula integral sin x to the power of m cos x to the power of n dx. So, let us suppose this is i m comma n integral sin x to the power of m cos x to the power of n dx. This can be written integral sin x to the power of m into cos x to the power of n minus 1 into cos x dx write out. So, in this case take this one as first function. So, these two as second function that means cos x to the power of n minus 1 is the first function and integral of sin x to the power of m into cos x dx minus and d by dx of first function that is cos x to the power of n minus 1 first function and integral of sin x to the power of m and cos x dx and whole dx. So, this is sin x derivative is cos x. So, f of x to the power of n into f dash x to dx that is f of x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 this we can write cos x to the power of n minus 1 into sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 minus the derivative of this one is n minus 1 into cos x to the power of n n minus 1 plus uh, sorry n minus 2 cos x derivative is minus sin x already this integral we have done that is sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 dx. Now, this can be written as cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 minus of minus plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 common integral. Now, cos x to the power of n minus 2 and sin x to the power of m plus 1 dx dx. This is 
cos x to the power of this is m plus 1 and into sin x m plus 2 this will be n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 ok. This is cos x to the power of n minus 2 this we can write sin x to the power of m into sin square x dx. Now, we have to change the sin square x. The sin square x can be changed in terms of cos square x we know this value is 1 minus cos square x. So, this again we can write cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 integral this is sin x to the power of m cos x to the power of n minus 2 into 1 minus cos square x dx. Now, this is equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 integral. Now, this into this and this into this. So, this we can write sin x to the power of m cos x to the power of n minus 2 dx and minus n minus 1 by m plus 1. This is integral sin x to the power of m and this into this is cos x to the power of n dx. So, you can check it again this will be this one I m n only. Now, we can write now we can write I m n is equal to I m n is equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 i m comma n minus 2 i m comma n minus 2 minus n minus 1 by m plus 1 i m comma n bring this term this side. So, we get i m comma n plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 i m comma n is equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus 1 plus n minus 1 by m plus 1 i m comma n minus 2. Here m plus 1 is the LCM or multiply m plus 1 on both sides, m plus 1 on both sides. We get i m comma n of m plus n plus n minus 1. Okay, m plus 1 this is is equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 plus n minus 1 of i m comma n minus 2 this plus 1 minus 1 cancel. Therefore, i m n is equal to 
cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x to the power of m plus 1 by m plus n plus n minus 1 by m plus n i m comma n minus 2. So, this is the reduction formula.